Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain row shelf and column shelf in Tableau and how it plays an important role in creating a visualization. Row shelf and column shelf defines the x axis and y axis of a report. Let me open Tableau application and show you how row shelf and column shelf looks like and how to use it. I'm opening Tableau public. I'm adding a data source in it. I've already downloaded sample superstore data and I'm adding it. And we have three sheets available in Superstore data. So I'm selecting orders and dragging it to right. The data has been loaded. I'm clicking on sheet one. So you can see column shelf and row shelf. This is how it looks. And now we will discuss how, uh, how we are going to use row shelf and column shelf in a visualization. So let me take a column from dimension and another column from measure and discuss so I'm taking category from dimensions and placing it in column shelf and profit from measures and placing it in row shelf so as soon as we place it we can see sum of profit actually row shelf is always used to display in y axis and column shelf is always used to make x axis so we can see different types of categories are in x axis and profit is in y axis so as the name suggests rows row shelf whatever we place in row shelf will be displayed in the form of rows see you can see like from 0k to 140k everything is in a row band and we can see the bar and its height matching with this row and the technology it started with 0k and ended at 140k plus so you can see the x axis sorry the y axis which is nothing but profit is matching with the x axis and its row banding and let me reverse the same and show you how it looks like so in my previous sheet I've used category in column shelf and sum of profit in row shelf now I will place sum of profit in column shelf and category in row shelf in sheet 2 so I am going to place sum of profit in column shelf see like I said when we place something in column shelf it will automatically create an x axis for, for us and I am placing category in rows so now you can see rows so different types of categories available in category field is displayed as rows here and I'll take two dimensions now so I'm placing two dimensions in row shelf so I'm taking subcategory so category is a placed in row shelf and it has created a y-axis for us and we placed another dimension in row shelf besides category and it placed sorry and it created one more axis parallel to this so it show it has shown the information besides category and subcategory parallelly and now let me place the same in column shelf in sheet 2 sheet 4 so category and subcategory so when we place this automatically you can see category is on the top and subcategory is parallelly displayed horizontally so when we place it in row shelf it's displayed vertically when we place in column shelf it will be displayed horizontally and it is parallel so category subcategory so before creating a visualization you need to identify 
uh, which column you want to place it in x axis and which column you want to place it in y axis and once you figure out that you need to place the column whichever you are planning to keep it in y axis you need to keep it in row shelf and whichever you are planning to keep in column shelf you need to sorry whichever you are planning to show it in x axis you need to place it in column shelf this is how you need to use row and column shelf thanks for watching have a nice day